A Penn State fraternity is under investigation today in connection with another dangerous underage drinking incident at the school. The Delta Tau Delta fraternity is now suspended. Last week, police found an unconscious student who had allegedly been drinking there. The university recently passed stricter fraternity rules in response to Timothy Piazza's death. Now, you may recall he died after an alleged hazing ritual at the Beta Theta Pi house. 14 students are facing misdemeanor charges in connection with his death. Jerika Duncan is in State College, Pennsylvania, outside the Delta Tau Delta House with the latest on this story. Jerika, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Those stricter Greek life rules went into effect six weeks ago. Now the university's Office of Student Conduct is looking into whether students provided the alcohol. And it's still unclear whether it was a friend, a fraternity member, or maybe even a stranger who flagged down police for help. Police say the 18-year-old was found unconscious at 1.30 in the morning last Friday near a parking lot about six blocks from the Delta Tau Delta House. In a statement, Penn State said the potential involvement of Delta Tau Delta is very disturbing news, given all the recent efforts in education that have gone into emphasizing student safety. The university tightened rules on Greek organizations after Timothy Piazza died following an alleged hazing ritual involving heavy drinking at the Beta Theta Pi House. The reforms include a temporary ban on social functions involving alcohol, a zero tolerance policy on hazing, and random checks on Greek organizations. But some students are not surprised to see another frat under fire for alcohol use. It's a common thing in college campuses, whether it be Greek life, if you're talking about drinking, there's a lot of drinking on college campuses in this country. We'll just get sneakier and sneakier if you add more policies on top of it. Like, there's no, it's not going away. But Timothy Piazza's father, Jim, says he's already hearing stories of students changing their behavior. Um, we, we actually received a text earlier this morning from a friend, and they've already made a pact that if they're asked to, to do anything that they're uncomfortable with or drink excessive amounts of alcohol, they're going to leave. They're going to say no. That's what we need kids doing. We need kids saying no to this type of behavior. In a statement, Delta Tau Delta said the health and safety of members and the guests remain a top priority. We share the university's commitment to student well-being, recognizing the concerns that led to the chapter's interim suspension by the university. We will continue to work closely with them during the review of this situation. Meanwhile, Timothy Piazza's parents said that they hope Penn State acts swiftly and meaningfully. Nora? I agree with that. This is another wake-up call there and at other universities. Jerika, thank you so much.